uh, to create power bi service account we require work email address what is work email address work email address is nothing but a proper email address which have your work details like for example my company name is pro visualizer so the work email address will be uh, akshay at the rate pro visualizers.com or connect at the rate pro visualizers.com or uh, support at the rate pro visualizers.com so that is called work email address right so we need to first create work email address then by using that work email address we need to create a power bi service account okay and we need to sign in power bi desktop and then we can publish the power report which we have created inside power bi service with that work email address let's see how to create work email address it's very simple and uh, we need to search microsoft 365 business plans okay you need to search microsoft 365 business plans and here if you scroll down you need to go to the official website of microsoft you can see www.microsoft.com microsoft 365 business you need to go to this link no not going to any other link only this link and if you turn this uh, if you click on this link you will have this four options it says uh, Microsoft 365 basic plan, standard plan, premium plan, and apps for business. And if you go to this basic plan, every plan have some pricing, 145 rupees per month, 770 rupees per month, plus GST, etc., etc. No worries. We are learning how to create free work email address. So you don't need to pay any money. Neither you need to add your credit card details, vagera, vagera. right? So let's see how to do that. For that, we'll be create, create, click on this button. We need to click on this button. Try free for one month. Okay, so here it is asking what is your email address. Let's write down the email address. Maybe I'll just add the Gmail address. Click on next button. It is asking, uh, you need to create a new account. Uh, do you want to set up it? Yes, I want to set up it. Click on set up account. Here it is asking, write down some details. You need to fill this form. That's it. Just select the first option. Instead of selecting the second one, it will give you emails and all the stuff. I don't want that. Click on next button. It is uh, asking for OTP. Perfect. So our mobile number and everything got registered. So now we need to write, we need to create the email address that is called work email address. Okay. So this two things are important. This, this section is very important. So be careful to fill this information. Your work email address will be what you are creating. So my work email address is Akshay Kamle at the rate, and I need to write a domain name. And the extension for the work email address will be dot on Microsoft.com. Okay. So you need to be very careful by right what username and what domain name you want, because that will be your email address for lifelong for your power BI service. The email address username I want is Akshay at the rate domain name might be pro visualizers. Let's see whether it is working or not. Click on save button. Yeah, great. It got accepted. Uh, I'm just giving some simple password. Perfect. So let's click next. And you can see you need to save this thing. Okay. Uh, I forgot to save this, but you need to remember the use password and the email address, which I've created. So I, the email address is easy for me to remember Akshay at the rate pro visualizers dot on dot Microsoft.com. That is my email address. And you can see it is getting created. So it is asking for the payment stuff. No need of giving any payment because we don't want Microsoft 365 license. We just want email address and the email address has been created. Okay. So you can skip this step. No need of uh, purchasing Microsoft 365. Close it. So here you need to search Power BI service and uh, click on the sign in button. And here you need to write the email address, which we just created. We need to write the email address. The email address was Akshay at the rate pro visualizers on Microsoft. Let's see. I'm not sure or else I need to cross check it again. That's why always copy paste the email address. Sign in button to write the password, the password, which we have created over there. Sign in and you will see our power BI service account will get generated. So it is just asking for a few basic details. Get started. Thanks for signing up in, uh, you can see Microsoft Fabric also got registered. Uh, I, uh, we have already discussed Microsoft Fabric is a new tool which Power BI service has been launching. Right? We'll be discussing about this also during our Power BI service topic. I'll just click on Get Started, and uh, you can see our Power BI service account will get created. So it is my company's email ID. So I'll just uh, log out from my company's email ID, and I'll log in from uh, the new email ID which we have created. So click on the sign in button, write down the email address, continue. Everything is set up. Click on done button. 
and uh, you can see my name is there and the same email address which you have created.